guys, this is Summer. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. If you are not new here, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here either way. And I hope that you like me enough to stick around and click that little red subscribe button down below. Today we're going to be doing a little lipstick declutter. Okay, not so little. I actually decluttered quite a bit. So if you want to see that, then just stick around. the shade 105 for makeup forever because it's one of my very favorites then i've got shade c2111 from makeup forever which is also a really pretty mauvey nude and i am gonna declutter that one just because i don't use lipsticks like that ever then i have M500 from Makeup Forever, which I think I'm also going to declutter. I will really never use it. I've got MAC Velvet Teddy, which is a nice nude. Again, I think I'm going to declutter that one. I think that one's pretty. That's a nice mm -hmm. nude. Oh, you can talk. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was and my sister's here with me because I'm going to give her some of these that I don't keep. So this one's a Lipstick Forever in Mauve. No, Lipstick Queen. Wow, I'm going to mix up with Makeup Forever. This one is Lipstick Queen in the shade Mauve Center. That's really pretty, but again, I think I'm going to declutter that one. There may be so many of these that y'all don't even want them. Like, similar colors. This is like a glitter lip topper thing from... Bite. This is a glitter lip topper from Bite Beauty in Rose Pearl. Um, I may keep that just to put it on top of other stuff. Mm -hmm. it does look pretty too. Yeah, I kind of like that one, so I think I'll keep that. All right, now I've got Bobby Brown in the shade Neutral Rose. Another mauvey, <laughs> another mauvey one. I'm gonna declutter that though. I just don't ever use. Okay, and here's another of the shade C211, which I'm also going to declutter. That's again makeup forever. Just never ever use it. Then I've got Sand Wash Pink from Bobbi Brown. That is again a really pretty shade. I just, uh, I guess I'll keep that one. I need to keep one of these, like one of these mauvey nude lips. It's pretty. All right, then I've got the shade Babe from Bobbi Brown. That is more of a pinkish new color. I think I'm going to declutter that one. All right, this is a metal shot from Essence in blue. I'm just going to keep that for crazy looks in case I'm doing like a weird collab or something. And this is a metal shop again from, uh, from Essence. And this one is in a gold shade. And again, I'm going to keep that for crazy collabs. This is a Tarte Tartiste lip paint in the shade Goals, which is kind of a mauve nude too. I have a bunch of this kind of color, so I'm going to declutter that. I don't mind decluttering if I'm going to give it to family. I just don't want to throw it away. All right, this is Boy Gorgeous from Marc Jacobs. And I am going to keep that one just because that is the only Marc Jacobs shade I have. And it's like a berry I really hope that these are like showing up decent. All right, this is the shade Gubby from Urban Decay, and clearly I have used that one quite a bit, so I'm gonna keep that one because it's a little used up. Put it over there. All right, and this is just a lip gloss from Urban Decay Hi Fi Shine. I think that I will declutter that one. Here's another Tartiste Quick Dry Lip Paint, and I can't tell what color this one is, but I think that I'll keep that one. Okay, this Smashbox one is like a red. I'm going to declutter that, but 
just because I don't need that many reds. This is just a L'Oreal Color Rich in the shade Matte Cadamia. And I'm going to just get rid of this one. I liked this shade, but I'm going to declutter it because it looks old and worn out. This is one of the Tarte H2O lip glosses in the shade Fiji. I'm going to keep that one because I wanted to try that formula out and I haven't tried it yet. Then I've got this Pillow Plump XXL from Sexy Mother Pucker. I'm going to declutter that gloss because I have got uh, my... I've got my Jar Cosmetics one now that I like better. Alright, and then I've got this Buxom Gloss in the shade Sugar, and I am going to declutter that one too before it's no good anymore because it's a pretty shade and someone else will use it. Bare Minerals Gen Nude. I am going to keep that one because I've been meaning to try that formula out and it's just a tiny little sample. Bite Beauty, I mean Juice Beauty, this is actually Juice Beauty, this is in the shade Gwyneth, it's kind of a berry color, I'm going to declutter that one, let's see, this is a Smashbox one called Pretty Social, that's like a real pale pink, I think I am going to keep that just because I don't have a lot of pale pinks and I like that color. This is from Hourglass, and this is the shade Futurist, and it's just kind of a nude, and I am probably going to go ahead and declutter this one, even though I love Hourglass products. That color is just too sheer for me. Okay, I've got another Tarte lip paint in that nude color. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one, because I don't need two. Those look the okay, same. And this one is Beauty by Pop Sugar, which... This is called Be The Boss Lip Gloss. I've never tried that one. I think I'm still going to go ahead and declutter it just because I have tons of lip gloss. I don't need it. All right. And this is just a Smashbox Insta Matte, which I am going to keep because I just like using those to matte out a lipstick that's glossy. This is NARS this Staying Alive. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. I've probably only used that like once and it's just too berry for me. And then this one is... NARS Californication, and again, I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one because I just never use it and it's going to be wasted. So that's a lot already. Yeah. That's good. Making some progress this time. I've tried to do a declutter before and I couldn't stand to throw it away, so I ended up keeping all of it pretty much. Next, we've got Grande Lips. This came in one of the boxes. That's really pretty packaging. That is a really berry color, but... It's called Smoked Sherry. I don't think I've ever really tried that, so I think I will try that one out. And then this is a Wet n Wild lip balm, and I'm going to be keeping that one. That's in the shade Love. Alright, this is Urban Decay Amulet. I'm going to be keeping that. You know, I love Urban Decay products. This is Urban Decay in Crimson. I'm going to be keeping that one. This one is Urban Decay Purgatory. That is such a pretty berry shimmer. Definitely keeping that. And then this is the shade Back Talk from Urban Decay. And I do love that color too, so I'm going to keep in that one. This is from Pretty Vulgar. This is a really pretty metallic liquid lip. Um, my lips are sealed. But I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one just because I've got so many lippies. And this one's pretty but I just don't need it. This is a Smashbox. I don't remember the shade on this one and I can't find it but it's a Smashbox like metallic red and I am going to keep that one. This is an e.l.f. lippy and hot commodity. This is really pretty but I just don't like this color on me so I am going to be decluttering that because I think that my niece would like it. Or niece and all. This is a Smashbox as well and I don't know the shade. I think this came in the Give Me Some New Lip Kit from Sephora. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one because I just never wear it. This is good. I'm getting a lot of progress here. Wow, it's the MAC Aaliyah Collection. This is in the shade Street Thing. It's a black shade, but I am going to keep that for collabs. Just because when I need a black for a collab, that will work. Next, I've got Too Faced Queen Bee in the Melted Matte. And that's one of my favorite shades. So I'm going to keep that one. And this is um, Lip Freak. That is a really wild lip balm that like plumps your lips but I like that. I'm going to keep that. And then this is Jordana Twist and Shine Lip Balm. Those are pretty bad. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that because I just never end up wearing it. It's just a really pale like lip tint and 
those um, don't color my lips enough for me. That's a Fresh Fig shade. They are nice shades, but I'm going to go ahead and declutter them. Next, I've got this Buxom Gloss and Maddie. I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. All right, next I've got Makeup Geek, and I don't know what shade this is, but I do love Makeup Geek, and I haven't really tried this out, so I'm going to keep that one and try it out. What's this one? I'm not sure. This is still sealed. This may be Sephora Beauty Collection. I don't know, but it's an intense matte looking cheek pencil in a nudist shade. It's really pretty. I just have so many that I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter that and give it to one of my sisters or my nieces. And then I've got Dose of Colors and Sleepless, which you can't really tell much about the shades on here. But I am going to keep that one because that's really kind of color I like and I'm going to try this formula out. That's what it looks like. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this CLE powdered lipstick. I just can't ever find myself using it and trying it. I'm definitely going to be keeping this Hank and Henry and the shade Petal Pusher. My friend gave me that and I think it's a really pretty color. This is Essence Matte 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 um, Matte Lipstick in the shade La Vie Est Belle and I think I'm going to keep that one because I've been meaning to try that out as well and I have not tried it. This is a YSL Matte Stain. I'm not sure the color. I just got this in a play box though and I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to keep that so one. So this is a Mary Kay one in the shade Black Cherry and it is pretty. I just don't think I will wear it. So I'm going to declutter that one. We'll see if she'll wear okay. it. Here's the Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade Queen Bee. I've got a full size of that one so I'm going to go ahead and declutter it so one of my sisters or my nieces can use it. Then I've got another dose of colors. This is in the shade Plum Queen. That is more of a dark plum color and I don't have a whole lot like that so I'm going to keep that one. And then I've got Bite Beauty in the shade Glossé, which looks like a, yeah, it's kind of a nice nude. That's a nice nudish color, but I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one because, again, never use it. This is a Sephora lip powder in the shade Gold Reserve. I ordered this with something one time, but it's basically like just a gold sheen. I'm going to do that one. I'm going to keep that one using it as a lip popper because I don't think anybody else will want to use it either. Alright, this is a Stila in the shade Etoile and I never ever use this. I'm going to go ahead and keep that one just because I don't have a lot of... Wow, I'm going to make up white for this. My hands are a hot mess. Alright. And then I've got this Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade English Rose. This came in a Sephora... Um, what do you call them? Like a point pack I got. And it's basically like a lip gloss that you squeeze out. And I never use this. And I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. So maybe someone will be able to use it. Um, this is Makeup Forever in shade 105. Which again is one of my favorite colors. And this one's almost gone. So I'm going to keep that one. Because I've definitely used it a lot. Um, this is Vice Special Effects from Urban Decay. In the shade Fever, and that one I'm going to keep. That's just a lip topper. All right, and then next I've got the Ish Lip Statement Palette, which I'm going to keep in case I need that for collabs. I don't really use lip palettes a lot, but sometimes you just need something from a lip palette. Most right. of this one, I'm going to be keeping all of most of these because these are mostly jarred cosmetics. So this is the shade Fruitcake from the Tutti Fruity Collection. This was a Christmas gift from my friend Chrissy, and I'm definitely keeping that. Alright, so when I was editing, I went back through, guys, I discovered that the camera had shut off during some of this. So this is the shade Skinny Depth. This is a Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful nude shade. It's one of my favorites. This is also a Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte, and this is the shade Iced Mocha. This is a darker brown. I love this shade. It's so beautiful. Alright, and then this is a Hydra Matte as well. This is the shade Invasion. This is for sure one of my very favorites. It's like a mauveish brown. I love, love, love it. I do have videos where I'm wearing those, and I'm going to be ordering soon. Um, I've got some PR credits, and then I'm going to order some additional stuff. So once I order that stuff, I'm going to go through and do an entire lip swatch video again. Mm -hmm. So this, is, this is the shade Share, and I love this color. It's like a deep mauveish brown. It's one of my favorites. This is a metal matte from Gerard Cosmetics in the shade Soho. This is actually a pale pink. It's beautiful and I love it. I wear it quite a bit. And then this is Fuzzy Navel in the metal matte. That's a beautiful pinkish peach shade. And then we've 
got the Supreme Lip Cream. This is in the shade Blooming Hibiscus. So you guys can see that or not. But this is a beautiful shade as well. And then, like I said, I'm keeping all these drawer shades. These are my favorite go-to's now. This is Angel Cake. That's also Supreme Lip Cream. I love that shade. It's such a beautiful pale nude. And I use that quite a bit. This is my Kiss Assist Gloss. Um, this is a lip plumper, and I love, love, love it. It's one of my favorite products. It's probably got some lipstick in there because I do sometimes put it on over stuff. But I love that one. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, and then next we have got the Color Your Smile Glosses. This is the shade Crystal, and it's just more of a clear. This is the shade Nude from the Color Your Smile Glosses, and I love that one as well. It's a really nice nude, and these glosses stay on really, really well. And then this is the shade Cocoa Bean, which I also love. And one of the cool things about these glosses is they've got that mirror on the side. And then also, they light up. So that's really cool. So if you're somewhere where it's dark or you don't have a, a mirror with you, you can grab your gloss and put it on anyone. All right, next we're going to go through the glitter lips. So these are how the glitter lipsticks are packaged. It's kind of a rose gold packaging. And this is the shade DM Me. It's a lavender pink shade, more lavender. Really beautiful. One of my glitter lipsticks from Gerard. And then next we've got Hollywood Boulevard, which is a nice goldish shade and it's so pretty. I love that one. Then we've got All Access, which is more of a dark, like maroonish brown shade. And it's a glitter lipstick as well. And then we've got Fame, which is a brownish. It's more of a brown with kind of gold glitter, copper colored glitter, and it's really pretty. Now we've got the regular bullet um, lipsticks, and this is the shade London Fog, which is a really cool different shade, kind of purple gray. I love this one. So beautiful and unique of a color. So this is the shade Underground, and this is one of my very favorites. It's just a real kind of taupey brown. I love it. And ignore all the lipstick colors on there, guys, because um, I do tend to mix my lipsticks up. So this is the last one, and this is Vintage Rose. This is a beautiful pink shade, mauve pink. I love that one. And then we've got Too Faced and Sure Thing. I've also got Sunday Fun Day, but it's in my purse, and you can tell like I mix colors, but that's a really beautiful nude shade as well, and I do use that a lot. I love the way it smells like peaches. And then we've got this, um, then we've got this Lipstick Queen, which this was my diamond gift from Ulta, and it's basically just a lip topper. It's kind of a white, glittery shade. This is a little mini NARS in the shade Orgasm. I think I got that as a birthday gift. Um, from Ulta or Sephora. I really can't remember. And then this came in one of our boxes recently. This is the Tartiste Lip Paint. And this is in the shade Flaming Hot. That's a really pretty glittery pink. I'm not all getting comfortable over there. And then this, it says MDM Flow. I don't know what this brand is. I've never heard of it. I got it in a box. But I love this color. It actually reminds me a lot of Underground. But I have enjoyed this, so I decided to keep it for now. This is my biggest lipstick organizer and the last one that we have to go through. So I'm going to pull all these out. This is Buxom in the shade Bunny. I'm going to keep that one. Um, this is Galactic. Matte lip paint in the shade Posh. I'm going to declutter that one. This is Sexy Mother Pucker from Soap and Glory. This is in the shade Spun Sugar. Um, I do like that one for whatever reason. I'm going to keep that one. Then I've got Buxom Stephanie. I'm going to keep that one. 
And then I've got Ofra in Bel Air, which is a really pretty shade. I do have a lot of similar shades, so I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. I can't believe I'm decluttering an Ofra, but I think I am. Alright, and then I've got L'Oreal Galaxy Lumiere. That's just a holographic gloss. I am going to keep that one. I use it sometimes over something for a look. And then I've got the Laura Geller City Lights lip gloss. And I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. It's really pretty. Just don't need it. Alright, I'm going to go through the rest of these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go through the rest of these liquid lips first. That's an Ofra in the shade Verona. I am going to keep that one. These have all been in here upside down, so they're like looking a little odd, but it's just the way they're sitting there. <clears throat> okay, this is Ofra in the shade Maui. I did get this for like a mermaid collab, and I'm going to keep that for collabs. And I'll leave it on that one. Alright, this is a Laura Geller 50 Kisses. I am going to go ahead and declutter that one. It's in the shade Beige Bite. Then I have got Vice Liquid Lipstick in the shade Back Talk. Um, do you think it would use that color? I think so. From here, I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one then because I do have a mini in that too and I'll never get around to using both of them. And then this is Ofra in the shade Coven. That is from the Nikki Tutorials collab, and I love this color. It's such a pretty brown. I'm going to be keeping that long. And then also from the Nikki Tutorials Ofra collab, I've got the shade Nude Potion, which I also love. I'm going to be keeping that one. And then I've got Ofra, the shade Spell, which I do not love, but it's great for like Halloween looks and stuff, so I guess I'll hang on to that one. <laughs> it's a weird shade. All right. Then I've got Urban Decay Vice in the shade Flashback. That's like a purple glitter. I am keeping that one for collab looks and stuff. Any kind of crazy makeup looks. I've also got Tartiste Lip Paint in the shade Yas, which I also think I used for my Mermaid collab video, but I'm going to keep that for collabs. I don't know why that's discolored like that. And then I have got this. Oh, Flower Beauty. That is a metallic matte in Petal Punk. And I don't even think I've tried this yet. And I think I'm going to keep that one. Yeah, I want to see kind of how that formula is. It is a pretty color. Like, I just put it right there. I'm just going to keep that one. I put all my liquid lipsticks in here upside down so I can see the colors when I'm looking for something to grab out. This is L'Oreal Invaluable in the shade Kitten, I believe it's called. I can't find it right now. Yeah, Kitten Paws is this shade. It's like a really pale lavender color. You can tell through the tube. I am probably going to just go ahead and declutter that one. And then, good lord. Okay, this is the Lorac um, Pirates of the Caribbean collab, or whatever they call that. That's the lipstick shade. It's pretty. I just don't need it. Again, I have tons. And then that is the other side of that one. It's a gloss on the other side, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. This is a Laka and Company Cloud Lips in the shade Daydream, which is that color. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. Let's see. This is... This is more of a gloss. This is Clinique Whoppin' Watermelon. It's pretty, but I just don't ever end up wearing that, so I'm going to declutter it. I can't believe how many I'm decluttering. This is crazy. This right, is Too Faced Lip Injection, the regular, just plain gloss. I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. This is Glam Glow in the shade Lusty. That kind of shows you what the color is like in there. Those are just kind of like a lip plump and gloss. These open so weird. I gotta remember how it is. Oh yeah, okay. These open so weird. Oh wow. <coughs> and that's kind of a metallic, beigey color gloss. I this is Buxom in the shade Jasmine. I think I'm gonna keep that one just because it's good for a VMP look. 
This is Too Faced Melted Matte Chocolate in the shade Chocolate Cherries. And I'm going to keep that one to actually use that once in a while. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade Melted Rainbow. This is the Peaky Rose Elegant Gloss and Boss Gloss. They did send me that free for a complaint out of the palette, but I do like it. And the packaging is so pretty, I'm going to keep that one. Next, I've got a Smashbox. And the shade Babe Alert. I think that was in the Give Me Some Nude Nude Lip Collection from Sephora as well. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. Never ever wear it. This is a L'Oreal Infallible Paints and Metallics. This is in the shade Chrome Cherries. I'm going to keep that one. I also want to use it. And then I've got a L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paint in the shade Lilac Lust, which I'm going to go ahead and keep that one for collabs and stuff too. Then I've got this shade... Sweet Maple from Too Faced. I just don't ever wear that. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. It's a pretty shade. And this is the shade Naked Dolly from Too Faced. That is a shade I love from them, but I am going to go ahead and declutter that one just because I have so many lipsticks right now and I don't need it. I think Mom would like that one. And I actually don't think I've used it and it's kind of sick that I have it. All right, this is a shade called Chai from Bite Beauty. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep that one just because I don't really have any other Bite Beauty ones. And I might want to try it out. And then I've got Urban Decay. Wow. Walk of Shame, which you can see I wore out wearing. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this too, though, just because I don't ever wear it. And this one is Urban Decay Comfort Matte. Um, gosh, I don't remember what color this is. What does it look like that? I don't remember what color this is, but it's like a mauve color again. And this is from the Born to Run collection, and I'm going to keep that one. I haven't even had that that long. Put it in the front so maybe I'll wear this it. This is Mary Kay Midnight Red. I'm going to declutter that one too. Don't ever wear that one. All right, I've got another of the little mini Too Faced. This is in the shade Nude Beach. And again, I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. And then I have got three Smashbox ones. This is the Always On Liquid li Liquid Lipstick. This is Spoiler Alert. You can tell that's one of my favorite shades. Obviously, again, I'm going to be keeping that. This one's called Rest Fund, and I'm going to be keeping that one too. I think that's really still nice for this time of year. And then this one I wear an awful lot. This is called Psychic Medium. That's another one of those. You actually gave me these okay. when you got that set and you kept some and oh, gave me some. Yeah. All right. This is Medusa uh, makeup, and this is the shade Triple X. Yeah. Triple X. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. I don't wear it. I really literally have left this sitting here because of the packaging, but I never wear it. And then this is called Lolita. That's also from Medusa Makeup. And I think I'm going to... Ugh, I don't know. Let me keep that one just because it's good for vampy looking grungy looks or whatever. But I've got hot pinks and I don't like that other one. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte from the Holiday Collection in the shade Sugar Cookie. That's one of my faves. Definitely keep that. And this is Too Faced Melted Matte in Pumpkin Spice. And I'm going to keep that one. And this is a Too Faced Melted Matte in Cinnamon Beer. These are all from the Holiday Collection. So I'm going to be keeping those. This is from Pinky Rose Cosmetics. This is a gloss that they sent me along with that other one. And I do really love this and I love their packaging. So I'm going to be keeping that. Next, I've got some little mini ColourPops. Um, in the Ultra Matte Lip, and this one is called First Position. It's kind of a red. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that just because I don't ever wear it, and I think someone else might get more use out of it. And then this one is in the shade Take a Pixie. That's a really pretty nude shade. I think I'm going to declutter that one, though, because I don't wear it a lot, and I think that some of my family members will. And then I've got this color pop. Arabesque. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. It is pretty, but I just don't wear it. And then this one is called Souffle. I'm going to keep that one just because I don't have a lot of berry shades like that. 
And then this one is called Needle and Thread. And I think that was one of my favorites out of that set. It's kind of a pinky nude. So I'm going to keep that, that one. That is it for my lipstick declutter. I'll so. probably organize these better and come back and show you guys how I organize them. But for now, let's see how many I actually ended up decluttering. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, so I ended up decluttering 52 lipsticks, guys. 52. So that's a little out of control, but at least I'm, I'm decluttering some while I can give them to family and not feel like they're being wasted, you know, which is what I don't want. I don't want to waste stuff. So, so before I had my lipsticks basically in a box in the drawer, some of them on, on, on the vanity top right now this is how i have them set up so i have those three lipstick trays right there that are all pretty packed full still but i did get rid of a ton and i am going to order um i think i'm going to order one of the lipstick organizers that spins just because i don't like all that out on my vanity top i really no, don't but that is how my so. lipsticks are set up now so that i can see them because before they were all in my I had the one out, and then I had a bunch of them in drawers, and I couldn't so see what I had. So by decluttering some, I'm able to keep them all out here where I can see them and access them and not have them in a drawer. And so hopefully I'll be able to use more of them up that way. I hope you guys so. enjoyed this little lipstick declutter. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And also make sure you ring the little bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post future content. In case YouTube does not notify you, you can follow me on social media as well. That is listed in the description box below. Hello. Thank you so. guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,